morning folks uh, I'm going to show you visitors and tourists how to travel for free in London uh, not having to pay fares on the tube that's it you see you just walk through just like that nothing happens now obviously you all thought they were going to stop me and say hey where are you going or where's your ticket or whatever nope just walk straight through free travel guys uh the only thing, wait, hold on. Oh, I'm shocked, look. Customer service I only came here for the public toilet right facilities, right damn it. And they're closed. Oh well. That's a pity, isn't it? Let's have them going the right way uh, to exit near to horse guards. Uh, I mean, am I? I have no idea. Uh, there's a possibility uh, between where I am now and where I'm going that I'm going to be apprehended for fair evasion. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. But you know what? A single journey, I believe, um, in the center uh, is now £2.85, people. And I don't know about you, but that seems rather steep if we compare it to a metro ticket in Paris or, heavens, uh, the cost of public transport in Germany or Italy. Yeah, we are a little teeny weeny bit ripped off here in central London, which is unfortunate. But. Don't worry, we're used to it. We get ripped off in every way, guys. Housing, transport, etc. Oh, I think they actually refit. They fixed it. They opened the toilets. Wait, let me move the camera away. That's the ladies. <laughs> Do not need to be uh, getting arrested for filming in the, in the wrong spot, even if unintentionally. And now it emerged from the gloomy, overpriced underground into the light, guys. Uh, literally. And uh, metaphorically. Wow, there are police everywhere. What's going on today? Oh, what's this one, guys? Some Ukrainian thing again, or? Uh, Brexit. Brexit? Yeah, Andy Brexit. Oh, is it wait, Steve, whatever his name is, is that him? Steve Bray? Oh, flipping us. I thought he was already done. Okay, this uh, Brexit supporting clown, folks. I mean, it's not as if we had, you know, a democratic referendum on this issue. This Brexit supporting EU mind washed, brainwashed simpleton uh, Steve Bray. I'm going to actually try and interview Steve. Uh, he might ignore me, but I think as a man who would respect the democratic will of the British people, he might well uh, agree to a quick interview. What a great way to start the video. I think it's Steve. Is that, is that Steve Bray, the uh, Brexit guy? Is it actually, yeah? I thought he was done, I thought he was finished and out of it. Hi Steve, morning. Do you not think it's a good idea to respect the democratic will of the British people when a referendum has been held legally and voted on? Yeah, of course it is. There we are, thank you for your comment. Thank you for your comment. We got it there guys, Steve just, Steve just said it. Now he's screaming. <laughs> he just said it, of course it is. All we need to know. Cheers, Steve. <laughs> oh, goodness me, what an absolute plonker that guy is. It's a very simple question, isn't it, really? You know, do you respect the democratic will of the British people or not? It's a one word answer. Okay, he stretched it to a few words. Yes, of course it is. Five words. We only needed one, but you know, the yes was what we needed. So there we have it, guys. Steve uh, Bray has just completely uh, repudiated his own argument that uh, we illegally left the European Union. What an absolute idiot, can you imagine? <laughs> I was hoping he'd come running after me, grab the camera. It's shocking as well that there are that many officers uh, dealing with his little protest. I'm not sure Steve was aware he was being recorded, but Steve, thank you for your time. It's much appreciated. Anyway, onwards and upwards, guys. We will leave behind the... Uh, the simpleton that is Steve Bray uh, and head toward horse guards. Uh, what's what, Bray? For a grey. Boom, boom. Well, I mean, if it's, if it's, if it's a long guard, we might. Uh, what's today, Wednesday? Is it a long guard? I mean, probability would suggest that we are going to exchange Bray for a grey. Uh, but let's see, guys, I'm not going to count my chickens or my buildings uh, until we get there. Let's find out. 
it's actually very balmy and warm. I mean, it's balmy in both senses. Balmy the weather and Mr. Balmy back there. But yeah, surprisingly, actually, uh, in a very nice and pleasant kind of way. Uh, <laughs> they look at the police, police officer's face was kind of like, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I'm going to try and get uh, moved to TSG or SEG or you know, anything else uh, other than babysitting Steve Bray at uh, Parliament Square. Oh, hold on. What kind of clowns have we got here this time? Oh, it's one guy by himself. Hold on, what's his, uh, what's his cause celeb? Ah, damn it, it's kind of buried it a little bit. I'm not kind of going around the corner. Wait, I can't see what his, uh, what the board says, but never mind. It's probably not that terrible. Oh, hold on a second. Here we can see. What is it? Which causes this? Crime is live. HSBC and BP app now respects. What's UDHR? Of human rights, of course it is. Thank you, chap. Universal Declaration of Human Rights, people, uh, is what he was holding the board for. Please move very close then to check that what I was holding was not an offensive weapon. Uh, and no, people, I didn't have my trousers down. I'm just holding my gimbal, okay? All good. Right, let's get ourselves to horse guards and see what is cooking here in the hood. Folks, the most dangerous part of London. You've got crazy people, criminals, Vandals, the insane, the clinically prematurely discharged. You've got every type of undesirable in this one area. But me, taking massive risks to expose the underbelly of London uh, for all of you, all of you visitors uh, and uh, viewers from around the world. Sorry, folks. I'm in uh, a buoyant mood this morning, as you can tell. Yep. Why? No idea. Uh, because I'm young, relatively and healthy, I guess. Okay, someone decided to leave their car in the middle of the street, as one does, uh, in a high security area. Now, luckily, it seems we haven't yet had the blues take over. Interesting, it's not a government car and it's not a diplomatic plate. So that won't be there for very long. Nice and breezy. However, people look in the distance, rain clouds. Oh no! Yes, lots and lots and lots of rain clouds, that's unfortunate. However, let's hope they don't break and rain all over us. Probably hear the breeze. <sighs> nice and breezy. No place at this end. I guess they've all uh, relocated to supervise Mr. Bray uh, and his following of exactly zero people. Okay, let's see which officers are on today. That'll give us an indication of whether we've got a super hammer approach or not, as we often do get here these days, they're kind of like bum bum on naughty miscreant tourists. So a quick peek at the clock. Oh no, look at the rain clouds over, over the clock. Ah, look. It's like the day of Charles I's execution. What a tragedy. God damn it. We're just about, however, to hit the hour. Um, so that's obviously going to mean new horses. I'm going to guess the first lifeguards have already probably ridden out to the back. Fully back in summer order, which I guess has to be a positive. A beautiful morning, actually. Intrigued to see what sort of rush we get after the palace this morning. Uh, they don't normally have as much free food as on Fridays, but I'm sure the supermarkets will have donated some uh, best before date expired products for the tourists visiting London. We can't have our tourist visitors going hungry, guys. And as they spend all of their money on the overpriced hotels, uh, and tourist attractions, they often find themselves here in London stranded without any cash to buy food, hence the king's timely gesture uh, to feed the hungry hordes of tourists. It was initially limited to only Commonwealth tourists, but then somebody launched a court case uh, and now they had agreed that they're going to feed everyone equally, Commonwealth and non-Commonwealth alike. at the ready and note everybody he's not going to slice a tourist apple <laughs> bro is on a, a video call with his Filipino wife trying to impress her with uh, the fact that he's in London filming the King's Guard honestly I'm not kidding guys look I'm not sure if, if, if you can see it 
Uh oh. Ooh. Narrowly avoided. Okay, morning. Here we go, people. The Blues and His Majesty's Royals. Oh, good morning, horsey. Give us a little bit of a bit of a wink in the camera. Very thoughtful horse. Oh, here we go. I'm kicking off. Horse is not in a good mood. And the corporal of horse there was saying, go past him. In other words, don't wait for the horse that's turning and being awkward and having a bit of a moment. I'm not sure if we picked that up with the audio. His order to the troopers was go past him. The horse that wasn't uh, cooperating, shall we say. Interesting order there, you heard that one? Go past him. <laughs> We're definitely getting some new orders. What was it last week? Uh, what was that funny one? Oh, um, what, what you're doing, get on in. Oh yeah, what you're doing, get on in. And uh, today we had get, get past him, or go past him, folks. I wonder what it's going to be next. Wow. I'm liking this new uh, sort of raw structure here. Very ad hoc, depending on the circumstances. It's only a short guard this morning. It's funny, actually. Walking in, I was pretty much convinced it was going to be a long guard. So I just interviewed Steve Bray. He did an uh, anti-Brexiteer process. Oh, He's yeah. back. Uh, and I said to him, uh, do you think we should respect the democratic will of the British people? He said, yes, of course. I said, thanks, Steve. And turned the camera away and walked <laughs> off. He started to run after me. But, but, oh, you don't want to listen to my argument. It's like, actually, I don't want to listen to your argument. And the reason I mention that is I'm gutted because I was hoping to swap grey for a grey. But obviously it's not going to happen, is it? No, no greys here this morning, damn it. Except, well, my hair's going a bit grey, I guess. But other than that, yep, sorry guys. I, I lied to all of you. There's no long guard today. I can tell you're disappointed as well, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, Me no, too. I've got used to the normal one. In fact, I'm going to try not to I let my voice break. Flag, and the crowd's down the palace. Yeah. You're going to get swamped. Like yeah, it will be later, 100%. I'm going to try and finish the video without my voice breaking, save the tears for the Miss Long Guard uh, for next time. Oh, Catch you a bit later. Okay, folks, wait, is the Trooper movie again already? No, he's not. Well, I mean, he is, but he's not coming out of the, uh, out of the archway. So that was our lovely blues. They're now in and dismounting and preparing their two boxmen. Good morning, horsey. Look, he's looking back to say hello to us. Hello. Okay, so... According to my uh, esteemed friend, who was briefly on the audio a moment ago, uh, and who knows more about the typical morning operations here than anyone else I've ever met, including myself, uh, no long guard, but, and you heard it, deluge at Buckingham Palace this morning. Which, to be honest, is kind of surprising. Why is it surprising? Well, I mean, it is a nice day, but uh, actually, wait, maybe thinking, no, Monday they did have a full guard. It wasn't the wet mountain in the end. I don't know. I mean, it is what it is, folks. That said, I mean, even the traffic's pretty heavy for uh, for a typical morning. Look, I mean, it's not jammed, but it's, it's pretty busy here. I didn't have a good look. I was focusing more on the horses that were trotting themselves in than the troopers' faces. I did have a brief look. Uh, no one I recognise as being an absolute, you know, shouter in tourist faces. However, however, however... That's only part of the troop that have just come in. We've got still the other half to come. Uh, Lady Lifeguard in front of us on... Woo! Which horse is this? I know that hoof number, guys, but I can't remember the name. One second, let's have a quick look. Look, they're all standing respectfully back. They're like, mon dieu, the horse, c'est trop beau. And they're right. He's very beau. Okie dokie, right, let's have a quick peek. Who are you, my little beauty? Is the number one? Is... Oh god, the number is a mess. That's what the number is. It's a huge mess. Oh, well, the Frenchies are wondering if they're going to get on my YouTube. And you know what, Frenchies, you're not. Not today. I'm going to have an English focus to the channel just for one day. Okay, so I think the horse is... Mm, I'm kind of leaning towards Templar, but it's a very mushy, very, very, very mushy hoof. I can't really tell the second number, actually. Yeah, I'll call it as Templar. Not 100%, but sort of 95th percent certainty. We'll see. Uh, Iron Fist Officer is here today. I won't show you which one, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, the one that loves to make tourists 
turn into quivering vegetables uh, almost instantaneously. Right. He is at the gate, and we'll see more of him uh, once the changeover begins. It's six minutes past 11. So we're not going to get any screaming and shouting at morons until one steps forward and volunteers to be silly for us, like they always do, or, more importantly, uh, they step beyond the bollards when instructed to stay firmly behind the bollards. Let's get ourselves way around. Pretty busy today, look. And into the front. Well, all the French are not sure if they're allowed to go near the horse. This is why they're standing here to my left, watching. They're just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One second. Which one is this? Folks, it is an unnumbered horse, and to prove it, I will show you the picture. Look at this. No number. Nada. I hope that's picking up clearly. Nothing. So either that hoof is super, super worn down, and to be honest, it kind of looks like the number might be behind that little triangly bit that comes up on the hoof, so this one's a write-off until it's re uh, reshoed. How bizarre. C'est trop bizarre. There it is. Yeah, great. Uh, I have to say, and I wouldn't ordinarily say this, I would have to say right now, I'm very glad the lifeguards are about to be replaced. Why? Because it's super rare that there is a Blues and Royals horse that comes here that we can't identify. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that the Blues keep their horse in better condition. It's not that simple. What I am saying is that for some reason, the farrier in the Blues, or farriers, plural, always make sure that those hoof numbers are crystal clear. I don't know if he's got some sort of magic skill or some kind of laser pen or whatever, but my goodness me, the difference between the etchings uh, of the, is that even the right word? Is it an etching? Stamping? I get, no, who's a stamped, aren't they? They're not etched. Is this guy coming through the box? Nope. The difference between the two regiments in terms of visibility of hoof numbers is, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite the contrast, people. I think I have alluded to that before, but yeah. Now, it could well be that and actually it would be my guess that these are the horses that have the uh, hooves that have grown down into the into the shoe that we don't recognize anyway are most likely reasonably fresh from Milton. They might have been running around outside for three months, haven't yet had uh, the horseshoes redone. That would be my guess. I don't know, but that's what I would think. Because if I can't read it because it ain't there, they can't read it because it ain't there. So in other words, how will they even know which horse it is? Okay, they might, you know, the regulars or some of the farriers would recognise the horse immediately based on its temperament or certain looks. But when you've got 15 horses minimum that look exactly like this one, and there are at least 15 others that look exactly like this one, you can't tell them apart except when they're in a line, except if you're mounted and you know which horse you're on, uh, or if, of course, you are able to see the hoof number. Delighted and surprised and alarmed tourists uh, in equal measure emerging from the gate. Like, Mon Dieu. But they're staying well back, look. Smile. Oh, he doesn't he doesn't want to smile for us. Okay, here's a bro that's gonna smile. See, I told you. Guy just tapped on the shoulder. Just like, it's like uh, you're in the way. Okay, people, we got, we're getting lucky, look. Rain clouds have moved on. 
it might actually be a sunny day. Those pesky rain, rain clouds that were directly above Force Guards have moved on. In fact, they've actually vanished. Extraordinary. Yep. Ah, I see where they've gone. Wait, I'll show you in a second. Look, they've moved quickly across here. So I think we might escape a deluge. Yep, we're going to get no scenes like Dubai here today at Horse Cards, people, luckily. Uh, not that we'd ever want Horse Cards to look like that wretched uh, den of nouveau richness. Uh, to buy it. Oh, Drooper's ready to be changed over. He's like, you know what? I want my bacon bunny. I don't know how he feels, guys. I really do. Especially when he looks at how many people come out of that gate. He's like, oh god, here we go. Potentially another 50 people to annoy me. So I'm guessing you're all a little bit surprised about the uh, the clueless tourist that just stood there with a camera in the guard's face. So we had the, the young boy last week just stood there, uh, didn't move for the guard. And then we had the uh, even more clueless lady that stood there and didn't move for the guard. You wouldn't believe it, would you, folks? Uh, unless I captured it, luckily, very, very luckily, uh, fortuitously on my video. Oh, those blues horses. Come on, guys, come out. Show yourselves. We want to see you. I didn't spot Armand coming in, but then I wasn't really looking, so let's see. Oh, she's very wary, exceptionally wary of the horse. I actually see her heart is racing, in fact. That horse moves, she's gonna leg it. Well done, well done, well done. I always admire people that will uh, push themselves past their typical level of tolerance and f for fear. Here we go. There's a tourist on his right. <laughs> uh, oops. I'm waiting for the day when we get a tourist who just stands there and pretends they don't understand what the officer's saying when uh, when there's a guard change. The guards are more tolerant than the police. Not all of them, but some of them, as we saw a few days ago. Righty ho. Oh, guys. Ta da! Who are you, you spectacularly glorious creature? What horse is this? Oh yes, look at you. What a good looking horse. Okay, so yet again, the life, uh, the Blues and Royals have not disappointed us, guys. Crystal clear numbers, let's see. being my sunglasses where I need to look over the glasses to read this. Ah, I need to turn away for a second guys because I've got the, uh, the light on there. Okay, I think I've got the number one second. Let's have a look. The only bad thing about these super sunny days is it's actually hard to read the phone screen. This is... Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, wait. Might be yet another, wait, hold on a second. I need to get a better picture. I can't believe that this is not one we've seen before. Second Let me get up really close before it gets busy here. Okay, so that's the number. Wait. doing the classic thing folks again and not paying attention uh, I've just noticed the clenched fist uh, on a certain horse in front of us hence me wasting my time looking at a list when we already know who this is don't we oh yes we do it's funny actually because a couple of the popular horses I've pulled them out 
uh, away from the main list so that I can readily identify them. But I often forget I did that. So it looks like some numbers are missing, but then I come back. Now, which horse, ladies and gents, looks like a viper, has the patience of a viper, and <laughs> most importantly of all, strikes like a viper. Oh, yeah. Let's see what is going to happen when somebody gets close. Is he in a good mood? That's the question. Oh, people seem to think I'm on the TikTok live, and uh, it's like, hello, I'm not. Yep, tell me about the camera, bro. Stroll straight in. Everyone's in the in the yard at the moment, focusing on the guard change, which is continuing. In a minute, they'll be done with that, and then everyone will start to come back to the front. So I'm not going to move and lose the key spot. Interesting enough, though, uh, the number is far more worn <coughs> than last time. And he's looking happier than last time as well. He's like, yep, oh yes I am. Yes, you are absolutely right. I know, and I'm happy that you're back as well. Monsieur Clenched Fist, Blaze. <laughs> In fact, he hasn't looked this happy for some time. Maybe he's actually in a good mood and no one's going to get uh, get a, an experience they'd rather forget. Uh-oh. The guard's got those reins pretty tight in his hand today. They're laughing, but they have no idea what's happened to previous miscreants uh, at the hands of this beauty. I'm kind of half happy and half not happy that he's out now, uh, as opposed to a bit later. I mean, we're still some time off the guard change finishing at the palace, which means he'll then be off for an hour and possibly then back on for an hour. So today could end up running into a massive three-parter, potentially. Well, uh, we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, there's no way to know for sure, but, yeah. Is that a three-parter? What do you mean? Yes. Three-parter. I sometimes think that he wants me to walk closer, it's precisely to bite me. Hey, I haven't seen you for ages. Holiday? No? Huh? All good, though, yeah? Yeah, I was uh, happy to. Yeah, even hasn't realised that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting either. Although he finally turned up, like, too late. No, did you not realise? All we need now is some victims. <laughs> Me, I'll go first. Okay, hold my camera. I'll go over and get thrown into the floor. <laughs> not in there, not really. Not really, not yet. Uh-oh. Should I tell her? <laughs> uh, so the scoundrels are people that film me. They're saying, don't, don't tell her. Let her get close to the horse. I will tell her, people, if she decides to come this way. Because you know what? You can't run when you've got crutches. And if Ormond is, uh, is being a naughty boy, as these two suspect, then Tories are going to want to run away. Once we see the, uh, the eyes falling a little bit, that sort of, oh, I'm tired now, I feel like a little nap. That's when we know he's recoiling, getting ready to... Boom. We'll come back. Let's have a look at the other one, meanwhile, guys. Who is at the other end? While well, uh, Monsieur Le Monde is enjoying himself in the sun. Oh, we've got a beautiful lineup of police horses at the back this morning. Let's see if we can quickly ID this one, and then I'll zoom to the back before they finish the changeover. Let's see if I can grab those police horses for you. This one's going to be more tricky because of the sunlight on the hoof. Ho, 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 ho. Ladies and gents, there's no number on the hoof. Why is there no number in the hoof? Because... 
I'm 99.9% certain this is Q10. It's got to be, hasn't it? One second. Look at the white markings above the eye. A giant horse, even though it's back in the box, it looks massive. Nothing at all on either hoof. It's got to be Q10. I'm sure that's the only horse that doesn't have any markings at all. How's about that, people? Q10 and Ormond in the boxes at the same time. You wouldn't have believed it, would you, even if I told you? Wow. That's a surprise. I wonder what the occasion could be that they would bring over, especially seeing which corporal of horse it was, they would bring over those two horses and put them out together at the same time at the front. I'm really surprised. I mean, like, genuinely. Okay, let's go with the others to leave. They made a real surprise at the front. And this box here yeah. is Ormond, a super nipper. Yeah. And the other box is the unmarked horse. It doesn't have a single, it doesn't have regiment oh. or number on the hoof. Q10. Yeah. Like the mythical Q10 is oh, in that box. Yeah. Massive, beautiful horse. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, thank you. Wow. And at the back, police horses. Beautiful ones. Okay, folks, let's have a quick uh, zoom through. Uh, even if there isn't much happening in the hour with Q10 and Ormond, I will be back 100% when they're back out on duty the hour after next. Even if I have to go away and like get a break, uh, drink or something. I've got to have a look. We've got four police horses today and they look really beautiful. So I think it's worth having a peek. Once this is done, everyone floods through the tunnel. It'll be more interesting then to go back again. The gent here smoking a pipe. It's Sherlock Holmes. It's, it's actually it's Sherlock Holmes. I thought he was a mythical character created by Arthur Conan Doyle. It transpires he's actually real. I thought he only existed in the pages of literature and fiction, but apparently not. Okay, let me see if I know the officers, whether they're going to be friendly with us or they're going to tell us to get lost and don't be nosy. If I can even close enough, wait, let's have a quick look. look people taking pictures with the glorious police horses and their kids. Oh, officer said you can stroke him if you like. Look at that, guys, with the backdrop. That's probably one of the most beautiful images I've ever seen on my uh, phone screen. Blue skies. Glorious, glorious play. We've seen this horse before. I'll ask the officer the name of this horse. Definitely a familiar one that we've seen before, 100%. One second. Officer, what's the name of your horse this morning? V Vino. Oh, Vina. What? V I N A. Vina. V wow. Okay. Thank you. Vina. How's about that, guys? Vina. Vina the ballerina. I'm sure, she can dance very well. Beautiful. Let me avoid the back legs walking around. Vina. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. The other officers are a bit too squished together. I don't want to sort of get in between the horses in case one of them kicks off and boots me all the way to uh, Buckingham Palace. So we're not going to get ideas with other ones, but there we have it. Oh, hold on a second. They're looking back. They're like, oh, it's that flippy, annoying guy that always films with a camera. And to be honest, they've got a point. Actually, they do have a point. I'm sure one of them, the, the second one from where I'm standing, I'm sure that's Yeoman. I'm pretty convinced it's Yeoman. Actually, wait, hold on, let me ask the officer. One second, I'm not going to butt in while he's talking to the tourists. Let me ask. Officer, is that Yeoman, the second one? That's Yeoman, what's your, what's your one's name? Aztec. Aztec, thank you. Aztec and Yeoman, people. How's about that? Hey, I'm getting good at this. Aztec and Yeoman. Da -da. Brilliant. And as if that wasn't exciting enough, we've also got a King's Guardsman. Look! I'm really hoping he's not going to be arrested for carrying an offensive weapon. This is the problem, guys. And as if that wasn't enough, we've got the Chelsea Pensioner that was here last week with the with the captain in the yard, remember? I'll see if he's free in a second. If he's, I'll, I'll speak to him. I think there's people are gonna be asking for pictures for 
a little while, which is a problem. Kind of explaining, look, giving his morning to help out tourists. What an inspiration, eh? Yeah, I think I could stand here for a while while people are waiting to get fixed or talk to him. It's a pity, but hey, I'm, I'm here all the time and tourists are not. Wait, let me uh, let me ask him one second. Oh, too late. Just about, just as I was about to go over. Oh God, here we go. Look. Morning, Chief. I, I saw you the other day when you were with the captain in the yard. He gave an amazing talk, didn't he, about what... Hugo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a nice guy, yeah. What a lovely guy he is, yeah, actually. Yeah. I can see you were like, wow, this is really interesting. And it is, isn't it, to be well, fair? I, uh, I'm learning all the time. I'm actually an ex-lifeguard, so... Well, are you really? Yes. Oh, OK, that explains a lot. So even for you, still things to learn after yeah, all this time? Yeah, 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 I did 12 years with the regiment, but uh, I'm still learning. OK. That's I why I come to the museum. I help out, and that's... Yeah, I've seen you a few times, but it was I did notice you when you were with the captain. I thought, hold on, that captain is really, really being yeah. kind to explain it so well. Yeah. Very knowledgeable chap, eh? Oh, yeah. Well, he has to be. <laughs> yeah, but so, so, they're not all that knowledgeable, I tell you. <laughs> you probably know. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, Enjoy. What a lovely fellow. Ex-lifeguard. I didn't know it. Now we know. How's about that, everybody? An ex-lifeguard Chelsea pensioner. Brilliant. I absolutely had no clue. And as if that isn't exciting enough, we've got another familiar, friendly face here this morning. As I cross over. Hey, good morning. Over we go. And back into the yard before everything gets completely crazy. Wow. I was not expecting that. He could have been in any R uh, regiment, in the entire British Army, but he was in the lifeguards. You would not believe it, would you, folks? If I told you, you'd be like, nah, that's impossible. 12 years as a lifeguard. I bet he's got some stories. Lifeguard. Yeah, I, I had no idea. I spoke to him many times. He just told me his life was a Yeah, he's, right he's out there now. He's yeah. a lovely guy. Yeah. All right. See you soon. Right. Let's get uh, get ourselves through. Okay. So we're done. The gatesman last week was the chitsman. Okay. The chap we're looking at now. Almost the entire duration of last week, we saw this many times. He was on the other side. Uh, so yeah, ex chitsman now the gatesman. Sorry if I get that round the wrong way, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yes, gatesman was on this side as the chitsman before. Now, as far as I can see, we're completely finished. However, if the officers are still in the yard, which leads me to believe that we're not completely finished. I wonder if they spotted... If I stand myself back... Let's see if we're going to have a diplomatic incident. I don't think we will because the tourist hasn't gone too close. Nope. Ah, oh, now the city have already stuck on this side. Wow, I don't think we've seen this many familiar faces here of a morning ever. Ormond, Q10, Chelsea pensioner, familiar police officers, lovely tourists. Wow, it doesn't get any better than this, guys. We are truly blessed this morning. And there goes the lorry, taking all of the lifeguards' kit back to Hyde Park Barracks. That's where all the kit goes, folks. The uh, cloaks and everything else that are way, way, way too bulky to carry. That goes back separately. Oh. Oh, hold on. Is this Theodore Zeldin, the French professor of literature, having a bit of a, uh, a literary meltdown? He's like, that is not true, that is not what Balzac meant in his great work. It was not Rousseau's point when he wrote The Social Contract. 
Yeah, that guy is actually the uh, the twin brother of T uh, Theodore Zeldin, folks. It's like, do not touch the horse, otherwise you're in the trouble with me. And he's right. He's right. Be respectful. Wow. Only professors of literature at the Sorbonne are allowed under French law to have a haircut like that. So respect to that man for his uh, his learned background. Much as I uh, I jest. Q10, you spectacular beauty. Are you going to nip anyone? Probably not. This is the problem, guys. I mean, Q10, beautiful as he is, is not going to nip anyone. He's not a cheeky little nipper. Oh, bro just stole my car. Come back. Damn it. No, Ormond is also not going to nip anyone <laughs> unless there's anyone here for him to nip, uh, which at the moment is not looking likely until that Paris deluge, which will hopefully turn up pretty soon. I'm tempted actually to run up to the top of the Mal guys and, uh, and scream out free food, free food or horse cards if you go now. The thing is, if there really was free food given away, then the apples and carrots would be fed by the tourists or the horses, hungry or not. But the, uh, yeah, the Horse Guards Tourist Food Bank guys does a roaring trade here. I'm also wondering how, if, um, if the French just went back to school, how there are so many in London? I'm thinking maybe they're smaller than British kids, so there isn't as much time at school. He's like, look at his eyes, he's like, you know, his eyes are shaped like diamonds. The other horses have like bigger round open eyes. His eyes, they are absolutely diamond shaped. And the most annoying part of it, folks, uh, not really annoying, but unfortunate, is that they've uh, just arrived for the dismount. I'm not going to uh, push my way in, but they've arrived for the dismount. I don't think I'm going to get in trouble. I should think I'm okay standing here. Dismount in the sunshine. It's the Lady Lance Corporal of Horse again on the right. I was hoping they'd be for, for this mount, just between that group of officers. Oh. Not very few coming on here, actually, with medals today, a lot. Something is, uh, is a foot of the MOD, or maybe a ceremony of some sort of Buckingham Palace or. Downing Street. But I will run back in a second and get right in front of Ormond. Bear in mind, we've only got 25 minutes until he's taken off anyway because of the short shift. This is what actually makes me a little curious. Why would they put the two absolutely spectacular horses on the shortest shift? Then again, actually thinking about it, if they're on every shift today, if they're here until noon, they'll be back again at one, they'll be back in at three. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's logical thinking about it. Okay, so so this man is done draw, taking the horses in, and then that massive and I mean huge number of people are going to flood out and hopefully get on Ormond's nerves. Let's see. Okay, that's done. Get ready for it. I'm right, folks. Look, he's waiting. You can see his cheeky little face on the left. He's like, I know what you're thinking. Did I eat two portions of oats this morning? Or was it five? Tourists. Yeah, we can't get out the gate fast enough. Look, there's a bit of a log jam. Reminds me of the Paris Metro, folks. Every station is busy. I hope that kid's right to be wary.
Wow, they can't actually get up the gate fast enough. Look at that. Okay, our first Frenchy victims. They're just testing, making, relaxing his neck muscles, getting ready for the strike. He is midway back. Bubble had it, uh, jogger. This is guys, look at this behind me. Look at this. The whole road is absolutely rammed. Uh oh. There's 500 people here, but they're all creating a huge arc around the horse, not going anywhere near it. Maybe word has spread, guys. Richard have told their fellow villagers that there's a ferocious British war horse that takes no prisoners. And it's most definitely not stewable. 100% is not stewable. So this guy's got his hands very tight on the reins. Stud guys in the sunshine, they're, they're horse guards. Skiing right. Uh oh. Hold on, this is all on pace over this place. We'll get on close. Allez, regardez la photo. Paul, je te vois pas derrière. Cheese. Thank you. Wait, a guy, do French people say cheese when you change? I thought you would say like fromage, no, surely. You actually <laughs> yes. say cheese like we do. <laughs> In French, we say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I would never have guessed that. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> okay, I would not have thought that, guys. French people say cheese as well. Why do they say cheese, not fromage? I don't understand. Oh, she said, j'ai peur. I'm scared. It's okay, you can go pause. I'll lift it up if you want, okay? I haven't seen this many turnips guys here in one go, but they're not getting close enough. <laughs> oh wow. Look, see, look, military people with medals. Is it going to be this broke? Wow, medals galore. Look. Medals, medals, medals. What's going on, I wonder, with all the medals? More interesting enough, guys, I've spotted. As usual. I 
Actually, that said, the police have spotted them as well, so it might not happen, but yes, I was thinking what you were all thinking. However, um, I'm not sure yet if there's also a group of Frenchies or, in fact, from somewhere else. Let's wait and see if anything happens. Actually, no, they're definitely not French. I'm thinking actually potentially Kiwis. What do we think, guys? You can't hear. We'll come back to that in a second. Meanwhile, on this side, we've got a little camp being set up. Look. Kiwis or Aussies, I'm thinking, this uh, this group in the black jackets. It's got to be a sports team, right? Got to be. I'm trying to read it on his coat. I can't see. Something high school. It says. I can't quite read it, folks. Wait, I'll ask Oh, you guys are from Sydney? Big, yeah. It's a sports group. Yeah, sports group. Yeah? yeah. Ah, it is a sports group from Sydney. Aussies rejoice. Let's hope that your fellow countrymen and women respect the guard. I think they will, okay? I think they will. We've never had a bad experience here with Aussies, ever. Let's see. Let me give them a lot of space. <laughs> Trooper's gonna walk her dog in the middle of the guy's picture. Hey, well done, boys. Love it. How's about that, folks? Aussies be proud. There was me walking, thinking, you know, it's gonna be a bunch of rude Frenchies, but it wasn't. It was a bunch of exceptionally polite. And uh, as you saw, super chill, no stupid hand signals, all that rubbish. Respectful picture with the guard. Well done. A tribute to uh, that massive group there, guys. Shout out to Sydney Grammar School for, uh, for being an amazing, inspirational bunch of boys. Rare that we see a group that young, all male, being like that. One second. It won't happen. They're from, they're from Aussies from Sydney, sports group. Friends running in, I just told him. But don't waste your time. Right, let's get back to the front. Oh my gosh, it's packed. I think part of the reason that Q10 is getting so much attention, obviously he's like an exceptional beauty. But yeah, everyone's coming out the gate. Look, I mean, there's like a lot of people coming out the gate and focusing on Q10. Obviously, what a surprise. Like way more than on uh, Ormond. It's a massive amount of people today. What's going on, folks? Look at it. Sydney Grammar School back in the house. Oh, hear that? Aussie teachers told his, uh, his people, watch your valuables. Oh my God, look at it. It's completely and utterly jammed. Irish girl's really scared of the horse. I'm surprised actually. I would have thought that. Okay, here comes a trooper, guys. I don't think he's going to do his rounds to my right. I mean, I hope he won't. Otherwise, there could be a cross border dispute between the UK. The Republic. Let's hope not. If he chooses to go right, it's going to be carnage. Okay, probably a good thing. I was secretly hoping you would, but wow, it's a massive group. Folks, have we ever seen this many people around the horse? I don't think we have, to be honest with you. This is the new 
Kilmer Vice terrified. Well, uh, right, girls, we're going this way. Mom, hurry up. Oh, they found all bond. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> Be careful with this one though. This one is a real biter. It's a notorious biter. Just told the teacher. <laughs> They're shocked. Teacher's giving them the bad news. So like, oops. Let's see if that happens. I mean, I just I did tell them. Wait. Alright, jump in. Oh, Here we go. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Nice one. There you go. Take a step there. Oh, they got lucky. Yeah, yeah, you got lucky there. Alright, see you as well. <laughs> hey, give me a camera there. Not to <laughs> the nippiest sauce, they got a brilliant picture with it, which you wouldn't believe it. Sorry, let me get out of your way. Here we go. There you go. lucky girls, this horse is the one that bites people all the time. It's like really, really bites. It really, really bites like. Yeah, this horse knocks a Chinese tourist on the floor. It's, yeah, honestly, oh, yeah, it's yeah, that, that video, yeah, that video was this horse. Oh my god. Yeah, so I was thinking, I did tell your teacher, but then yeah, I, I thought, you know what? Said, he's like, go quick before a place is putting the horse on it. You just oh, here we're going. Going. Yeah, yeah. You know, where, where are you from? Which part of Ireland are you from? Um, we're from a place called Okay. Oh, it's just outside there's Dublin. There's Carlow and there's Dublin. There's, there's a lot of... But it's not horse country, I'm guessing. No, no? it's actually very good horse country. Uh, the best one is in <laughs> Shea. Rachel Blackmore. Okay. You know, do you know that horse? Right? Is she the um, represented the um, Ireland in the Olympics? Yeah, and she, she, um, yes, I think so. She, um, she won the won all the contests over in England. Okay. I'm glad it wasn't you girls getting thrown on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy, yeah. <laughs> See ya. I was always amazingly friendly. Lovely people. One of my personal favourites. But then again, I am a poor Irish, so hey, there you have it, folks. I'm biased, inherent bias. They were very lucky. What's the event today, I wonder? I'll try and find out, guys. Look, people with medals. Oh, Ormond's being a very good boy today, isn't he, with the tourists? Maybe he went to a uh, horsey misbehaviour school. Had a, an equine psychologist give him a bit, of, a bit of a talking and explain, look, if you keep doing this to lovely visiting tourists and guests, you're going to destroy the economy of tourism at horse guards. Ormond's like, hmm, you might have a point. And I think what happened is a couple of horse said, I'm going to be honest with you, Trav, you're going to have a decision. You can either be in the box at Horse Guards, or I can call Loctite and see if they've got a spare space for you at their glue factory. So I think that's what happened. I think he made a conscious decision not to bite anyone. However, however, uh, we'll see when he's back up later. It's the beginning of the day. A lot is going to depend on how many people turn up, how busy it gets, and whether or not you have groups pouring him. If they are crowding and pouring the horse, the horse will not be happy. And if the horse is not happy, we know already what's going to go wrong. Now, time-wise, if I move back to the clock, one second. Still can't see it moving. Back, 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 back. It is 10.2. So we won't quite make the change over in this video. So I think I'll probably, when this video is done, uh, break for a shake, milkshake that is, uh, and then return. Uh, possibly on the next hour. Not guaranteed, but possibly on the next hour. Hi, good morning. Did you see the, uh, did you see the um, standard party go? I didn't see anything this morning. I think... Nine. 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 Yeah. I was still in bed at nine. Standard my party went back. What's the event today? Do you know? Because I'm seeing a lot of people with, with a lot know, of medals. I think it's something to do with the police. I think. Ah, that would make sense. The badge on the, um, the tire. Someone had a badge of the police. Somewhere. Retired police officers, yeah. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know. I meant to ask, but they keep going the other way when, uh, when they got their pictures.
<coughs> now the guard shop guys have restored the lower part of the door remember we said that they'd actually temporarily taken everything off the bottom uh, because there have been a couple of incidents of uh, of cheeky folks helping themselves now I'm not going to you know presume or anything else that anyone would help themselves at the guard store notice the lady's busy talking to somebody else I'm not casting any aspersions here but it would be very easy um, as one of you had mentioned in the video uh, for an item to go missing or to you know forget to pay for it conveniently I didn't see folks what happened when he was opening the rucksack curious He's looking very sheepish. That boy had his hand in his rucksack. I thought he was going to go to pay. <laughs> ah, I can't say anything. We didn't, we didn't like get it, get it. You know what I'm thinking, folks? Because you're thinking the same thing. Right on time. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> Saying hello to the tourists. If I did a you know a guard stall cam uh, for an hour, hundred percent we'd catch somebody uh, tealing in something without a doubt terrible to say but that's the, uh, the grim reality when large groups arrive there's always one that decides to help themselves meanwhile <laughs> Chutan is a rare beauty, even among the horses we see here, folks, he really is. Oh, look, he's how you betcha. Russian group behind me. I'm th actually thinking, guys, bearing in mind that these brain clouds have returned over the clock. I know they're supposed to be showered later, but luckily they haven't yet destroyed our video. What I might do, actually, potentially, uh, let's go and pop this video up and then quickly dash back here. So if the horse is coming off now at noon, one, means we'll do one to two and three to four, potentially. A few of you have mentioned in the comments that Behind me, I don't know what's going on behind me. Some of you mentioned in the comments that, uh, that it's been a while since we've seen an end of day. I think what I will do, possibly but not guaranteed, uh, is dash home and upload this uh, and maybe come back for the three to four o'clock shift, which in theory should again be on the Q10. Problem is, there's no way of knowing that 
unequivocally because they might well mix it up a little bit. Ah, it's a toughie that. Let me see. I think it will depend largely on the weather. At the moment it's glorious, but it's not going to last. At the moment it's saying that it should pour down at around about 1 pm, but we'll see. Exactly sure what's uh, what's so funny about a picture with a horse. Maybe she's seeing her own reflection in uh, in the horse's shiny skin. Nothing funny there with the guard or the horse. Oh, Frenchies again. Okay. Cute and you spectacular beast. It's been a pleasure to see you here again. Folks, I'm going to be smart. End of part one. I'll be back shortly for part two. I'm going to shoot them back to back today. That's a smart way to do it while it's busy here. Uh, back shortly. Bye for now. <laughs>